athletic director in the country, period, hands down, no question. Put your hands together for Joe Castiglione. Well, when uh, ideas start to come to fruition, and thank you, Chris, and thank you, President Harris, for your kind words and appropriate, poignant focus on how and why we got here. But when something gets hatched as an idea, people wonder if it could ever happen. And then certain wheels start turning, and people think, well, you know, it might happen. And Patty Gasso has said this to me many, many times as certain stages of the project, project itself was unfolding. Is it going to happen? Well, we didn't plan a pandemic right in the middle of all of our ideation stage and working through all of it, but we made it through that and we dealt with any and all challenges that we were facing. And then Coach Gasso would say when I'd see her, it's happening. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, especially our team, our coaches, our former players, this has been built on the shoulders of people who believed something special could happen. And today, it's happened. So my message is one of gratitude and thanks. And if you bear with me, there's a clock over here that says I have three and a half more minutes. There ain't no damn way. You know, I've got a lot of people. I got a lot of people to thank. Most importantly, leadership. Because somebody has to stand up and help things move forward and would not happen without our president, who was very early in his presidency seeing this as an opportunity to serve, to serve people, serve the legacy that they left, and to share it and pass it on to future players and fans and everybody that's enjoyed seeing this program grow. To the members of our Board of Regents, those that have been recognized, some that are not on the board, but certainly played a role while they were on the board. The Love family. I remember sitting over there in that room, over there in the conference room of the Viersen Gymnastics Center, talking about what could happen. Thank you. And to the many donors and fans, and we'll talk about how many of you in a second, but you all came together to make this happen. Year after year, we've seen the love of the game grow. And now we've taken the love of the game to put love into making something that is going to set the softball world on fire when they get to see this and experience it themselves. So yes. Pun intended. Everybody's going to love everything about this. So, again, the greatest of gratitude and from the bottom of our hearts to the Love family. To you, Judy, Judy Greg, Frank, Laura, Jenny, and of course, Tom. Without their love of the University of Oklahoma and love for people in the state of this, or our great state of Oklahoma, this would not happen. We regret Tom can't be here with us, but I would ask you again to join us in thanking them for seeing a vision and stepping in to make it happen. Thank you. So, their gift inspired others. We've had over 1,100 donors that have stepped up and still stepping up to support this project. Between 37 and $38 million have been invested. And if you were inspired to give more, <laughs> even the waste management folks are excited. First time I had a garbage truck honk at me instead of trying to run me over. 
337 donors gave more than $10,000 to this project. More than 38 states in the United States are represented by a donor, at least one donor. Thank you is insufficient. We are grateful beyond words and indebted to you for doing something so special. As President Harris said, we're joined by our softball team, who is the extension of a 67-game winning streak. <laughs> so when you walk in today, you'll be watching them from new seats, a new vantage point, and a new stadium. But you're going to be watching the legacy of strong women with a championship mindset that also stand humbly on the shoulders of the players that came before them. And we're going to talk about that always because to you that are here and others that couldn't be here, that's a reoccurring theme and a reoccurring part of our value system. So thank you. Um, we'd have to take a moment to, as President Harris said, I, I joined the University of Oklahoma in 1998. And my deputy AD was Marita Hines. And I got to work with Marita until we ran her into retirement, I guess. <laughs> but I'd be remiss if we didn't recognize the namesake of our former stadium, the person who was also a softball coach and a big part of the softball history herself, and the one that hired Patty Gasso, and helped hire Patty Gasso. So we leave a great legacy of that stadium that Players and teams in that stadium posted a record of 548, 62 and one, over a 90% winning percentage. Four undefeated seasons among them. So Marita, thank you. You know, without you, we wouldn't have a chance to have a day like today. Thank you very much for all you've done. I have a little bit more time left, but um, there's a people that did a lot of work behind the scenes, and I know we see all of this and we're wowed, and you should be. But there are many, many moments through the phases of development and construction that could have gone a different direction if not for them. Some have been mentioned, obviously, but behind the scenes, a lot of people. We set this date once the schedule was in place to play in it on March 1st. We weren't going to have a maybe March 1st, maybe the end of March, maybe the middle of April. This team deserved to play every game they possibly could in this stadium. And through the thanks of so many people, we made this happen. There's still a little bit more, some finishing touches, and they're well along their way. But I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge some people. Their areas have been acknowledged, but the people haven't been. And I know how many meetings during the day, during the night, on weekends, they contributed their time to help make this happen. From A&E Services, Brian Holdery, Jeff Schmidt, and Sarah Zenelapore. From Populous, Craig Kaufman, Denver Finlinson, and Frank Steiner. The contractor, Timberlake, and their staff. From our athletic program, Larry Nafee, Greg Tipton, Scott Matthews, Brad Camp, Jacob Potter, and Toby Baldwin. This is the largest on-campus college softball stadium in the country that will have a capacity for the fire marshal, that is, of 4,200. <laughs> there may be sometimes there's a few more in there, but you'll just have to guess how many more. <laughs> there's so much you see here from 44,000 square feet of team areas, the indoor hitting facility and pitching lab, the, the training room, the areas for recovery, recruiting, the grand lobby, the indoor facility, which is also the largest in the country. And for our fans, lots of amenities, premium seating, 11 concession stands, which is five times what we had in the former stadium. And I know some of you will appreciate this because you told me about it every time I was at the stadium. We need more restrooms. You have lots and lots and lots of new restrooms. And of course, there's some special features. You'll notice the video board 
if it's not the largest video board in a softball stadium, it's really, really close. It's bigger than some that are in baseball or football stadiums for that man matter. And of course, it has a unique sh shape because we're so proud to represent the state of Oklahoma. And of course, those finishing touches that I mentioned, they'll take place. And uh, we'll have an open house for all of you at a later time. We'll have another ceremony because as we announced, Last year after we won our seventh national championship, right here, right in front of us, will be the site of a statue that we will unveil of the GOAT, Patty Gasso. So we've spared nothing in trying to create the softball stadium that's befitting for the softball program that's the gold standard in all of college athletics. Most importantly, because we wanted to serve the athletes that have made this program what it is and those that will come to make it what it can be in the future. We wouldn't have been able to do that though without the leadership of Coach Gasso and I mentioned the statue, but it's her that is represented in every part of this stadium. Her greatness goes way beyond statistics or even the games that we've won. And there have been a whole lot that we've won under her leadership. She's taught us how to live life with a sense of purpose and meaning. And let's be clear, there's great athleticism in the women that have played. There's great championship mindset. But I think more than anything, that type of influence has elevated this program to a level of greatness few ever thought was possible. So Patty, thank you, thank you. I look at our team and I look at you because I know you have always been about them. But at this moment, it's about you and thanking you too for what you've done to elevate this program. Ladies and gentlemen, Patty Gasso. We're getting close. We're getting close. Um, when, when I first heard about the Love's commitment, I remember talking to our buddy on the Sooner Radio Network, Gabe Eichard, about it, him and his uh, lovely wife, Caroline. Very close to the Love's family, I hear. Um, and Gabe said, I don't think you understand. Jenny Love Meyer is a rock star. She is a rock star. Well, Gabe, I think we understand now. So put your hands together for Jenny Love Meyer. Thanks, Chris. Buddy. All right, well, um, I guess I'll have to thank Gabe. That was, um, I, I guess there's certain things that he picked up, but I, that's not true. But um, in any case, no, thrilling day. Um, it's, it really has been great to get, get to know Coach Gasso and her teams the past few years. My family, so many people at Love's Corporation, and I have watched them play and win so many games. That's right. It's fantastic to see that while they've enjoyed winning, they're also humble about it. The success that Coach has established is no accident. It was born with a vision started many years ago. This, this vision is one of hard work, relentless drive to be better, and exceptional teamwork. It has propelled them to become the preeminent team in the nation. The neat thing is that while they dis display incredible talent on the field, they are amazing people inside as well. Cultivating this consistently is not easy. It takes immense leadership from the coaches and support staff. This team dynamic is so similar to Love's Beginnings and the values that my dad embodied and in turn, the associates in our organization embody. The values alignment with OU softball is really important to us now, but also into the future. One of the other special parts of the Love's Field sponsorship for me, not speaking for the rest of my family, but for me at least, is literally three generations of Love's involved. My dad for many years watched OU in the World Series, asked me a few questions, some of which I knew the answer to. 
This in turn spurred interest from my mom. She will be here today, um, maybe, in, maybe in a few minutes. Um, for the past several years, my sister and brothers have also followed OU softball along with our grown kids. So the team and coach are well supported by my family. We're proud to be part of this day and the many games to be played here. Thanks so much. How about a round of applause for Jenny Lovemeyer, huh? Marketing pitch too. I don't know if you guys know this, but with the Love's Travel Stop app, you get 10 cents off uh, uh, gas a gallon. Yeah, I mean, it really works. It's awesome. Uh, anytime. All right, uh, let's hear from some players, shall we? Uh, the co-captains for the 2024 Oklahoma Sooners, number one team in the country. They need no introduction, but please make them feel welcome. Kinsey Hansen, T.R.A. Jennings. Hi, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Hi. Um, <clears throat> one of the greatest honors of the 2024 season was being named team captain, voted team captain by our sisters alongside T.R.I. Jennings. Not only are we here to represent the 19 other amazing women that stand by our side day in and day out, but we represent more than ourselves. We represent the best coaching staff in the country. We represent the best program in the country. And we represent the best alumni and Sooner Sisterhood in the country. <laughs> Tiara and I, it is our job to uphold the standard of championship mindset and lead by example every single day and continue it into Love's Field and continue our decade of dominance into this beautiful stadium. To take the field for the first time will be full of emotions and excitement. This team and this beautiful field is continuing the amazing legacy of OU softball. We are ready to create new memories at Love's Field and to represent all the alumni who paved the way for us to be here. Thank you, Suter Nation, for being here to celebrate this program and this day. Boomer! Speaking of people who need no introduction, you should be as loud as you've been all day long as we welcome up seven-time Natty Patty, the head coach of the Oklahoma Sooners, Hall of Famer, Patty Gasso. Jada, stop barking over there. <laughs> um, first, I want you all to see where are the... My girls, where are my girls at? Get it back up again. There they are. This is awesome. Love seeing you guys here. Appreciate it. a lot of these guys over here. I have not coached, but I know who they are. Thanks to Marita. So, um, <clears throat> God is good. I could do this. I could do this. Okay. We are blessed. We are humbled. We are grateful on this historic day in OU softball history. It's a full circle moment for us. <clears throat> 30 years ago, when I was hired, we played over at Reeves Park. You can drive right down the street and see it. Yes, I know you guys, you have a lot to, you wanna know more about it, go ask these guys. Um, but what I do know is we had to be off the field by 5 p.m. because slow pitch had their league. We had to come early, clean up trash, um, we, we actually, my, I think it was first or second year, we, second year we hosted a regional at Reeves and our players could not fit in the dugout. So half the team had to sit in the front um, of, the, of the grandstands with the fans. Sooner! Okay. 28 years ago, Marita Hines Field was built by Marita Hines, had a lot of her hands on that. Um, she said to me the other day, like, who is the fool that made that stadium only fit 500 people? <laughs> but Marita and I both felt like that was, when I saw that, it was a massive amount of seats for women's softball. It was incredible. Um, and what we did there was win championships a lot. 
and um, created some phenomenal history. But you fans came out. And because of you coming out is why we have this new stadium now, because the demand was great for it. So uh, today, now full circle, here we are standing in front of Love's Field, the largest, most beautiful stadium with over 400 plus capacity and the coolest representation of scoreboard for the state of Oklahoma you've ever seen. Um, and this future is here. It's leading us into the SEC. And uh, I think I can look at these guys and say we're ready to win more championships in a new con conference. <clears throat> we are breaking ceilings. And you know about the championships, the win streak. You fans showing up for Hall of Fame Stadium when we played Texas, breaking attendance records. Um, this stadium is breaking ceilings for women's softball and all the women athletic programs ac across the country, challenging companies and donors to invest in women's athletics. And the Loves family will be known as the family that really made a change in softball so that other coaches, some of them that are here today, will see this facility, go back to their administrators, and try to get more donors, more companies invested in what we're doing. So the gratitude um, that I have for the Loves family is beyond. Um, two years ago, I think it was, Jackie Livingston, my director of operations, reached out to Jenny Love Meyer and we have a mutual friend, Karen Wiseman. We had some conversation, turned into a friendship which flourished. Jim Gasso, my husband is not here because he is the head coach at Mid-America University and they're playing at the Hall of Fame Stadium at 10 o'clock and they're on a win streak. So I said, stay over there, we're good. But I will recognize you here. Um, but Jimmy really helped create and Jackie, create that friendship with the Loves family and Jenny and John. <clears throat> Jenny believed in this program and she talked a lot about her family and their, what they're prideful for and what they represent. And she wanted to uh, invest in our athletes. I know you guys have a Sunday dinner I heard about where you all sit together and talk business. And thankfully, our name was on the agenda and you wanted to talk a little more about it. But thank you all, Love Family, for taking a leap of faith. Thank you all who donated to this project. We could not have done it without you. Thanks to all the hands that have created this day from our great administration, workers, the creators with the vision. Um, this is the final piece to complete the OU softball program. This is it right here. And everyone is gonna follow the lead. Our team is honored to represent over 300 alumni, some that are here today on this field. We will give our best to make all of you, all of you proud and the Love family proud. <clears throat> I have five grandkids that are here. One is not delivered yet. That will be in one week. So the Lord blessed my son JT and Andrea, but specifically JT with three girls because the Lord is gonna pay him back for what he did to his mother. <clears throat> but with these four kids, three are girls. Jen Rocha, our pitching coach, has a young daughter named Ellie. We have small, young females, little kids, little girls that are witnessing this dream. And that is what this is about. We are preparing for the future. We're being great examples for leading this next generation of women into elite athletic programs and athletic facilities. Thank you all. I thought I was going to break down, but Lord, help me right there to get through this. And Joe, we do have a game to play. You went, uh, we're, now we're rushing. You went way too long, Joe. Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you all.
Thank all of you guys for being here. We cannot wait to play in front of you on this field, and we haven't even stepped on it yet. So the first time you see us play on it, we will actually be the first time us being on it. So um, love's family, our heart to you, all you donors, and all of you fans that support this great program. We love you, we appreciate you, and we got two big games today that mean a lot. These guys are ready. They're gonna be ready. Thank you all very much. <laughs>